Picture this. Precision shots fired at carefully measured distances with each rifle required to hit targets within a hair's breadth of accuracy. No room for error. More than just a weapon, the M16 rifle is an indispensable icon in the arms and ammunition industry. Used in conflicts across the globe for over half a century, it has earned a reputation that echoes across battlefields, history books, and even pop culture. The M16 rifle is not only a rifle, but a symbol of adaptability, a firearm that has seen countless battles and shaped the landscape of modern warfare. With its lightweight construction, high rate of fire, and customized modular design, the M16 has ingrained its name with American military operations since its introduction in the early 1960s. But here's the real question. How do you take raw chunks of metal and plastic and turn them into one of the most reliable, battlefield-proven weapons of all time? Welcome to Industria, where we uncover the fascinating processes behind the iconic products and take you inside the factories. So grab your snacks and let's go. The history of the M16 dates back to the 1950s with a visionary, Eugene Stoner, the chief engineer at Armalite. Faced with the need for a lighter, faster, and more adaptable rifle, Stoner developed the AR-15, a firearm designed to revolutionize infantry weapons. In 1959, due to financial and production challenges at Armalite, the rights to the AR-15 were sold to Colt's manufacturing company. Colt modified the design, and as the U.S. military searched for a weapon that could perform in the dense jungles of Vietnam, the AR-15 evolved into the M16. Why was this shift necessary? Weighing just 6 pounds compared to the M14's 14 pounds, the M16 allowed soldiers to move swiftly through challenging terrain. But here's where things get interesting. Despite its advantages, early versions of the M16 were surrounded with controversy because its reliability issues, misfires, and jams plagued soldiers during combat, and many soldiers ended up losing their lives during combat, which resulted in many soldiers preferring the enemy's AK-47s. We'll never know the exact number, but it wasn't small. But how did these problems get resolved? Stay tuned. We'll answer that shortly. The U.S. Air Force was the first to adopt it, followed by the Army. In 1965, right in the thick of the Vietnam War, the first widespread use of the M16 occurred. The rifle was officially rebranded and became the standard issue weapon for U.S. troops. Eugene Stoner's goal was ambitious, yet simple, to craft a lightweight, air-cooled, gas-operated rifle that could fire a small-caliber, high-velocity cartridge with pinpoint accuracy. Stoner's dedication and innovations gave birth to the AR-15, which, through Colt's refinements, evolved into the M16. The key feature of the revamped version of the M16 is defined by its modular construction, which allows for easy disassembly, maintenance, and customization features that have enabled soldiers to quickly upgrade or repair the rifle, even in the field. The M16's light design allows a fully loaded soldier to carry multiple rifles without feeling overburdened. Another remarkable aspect of the rifle is the gas-operated rotating bolt mechanism. When a round is fired, gas from the cartridge cycles the action, allowing both semi-automatic and fully automatic fire. The gas-operated system and rotating bolt mechanism ensured smooth firing at a rate of 700 to 900 rounds per minute. But how exactly are these advanced components manufactured? Let's dive into that next. Let us take a break from history and find out how the mighty M16 rifle is manufactured in the factory using state-of-the-art machinery and a blend of advanced technology and skilled craftsmanship. Just like any other production, the material used plays a crucial role in the outcome of the product. The M16's overall performance and reliability are heavily influenced by its material selection. For instance, materials like aluminum alloy and steel are chosen for their lightweight yet sturdy properties. The barrel is manufactured from high-grade steel designed to endure the extreme pressures and high temperatures generated during rapid-fire bursts. Meanwhile, the upper and lower receivers are made from forged aluminum alloys, providing strength but also ensuring the lightweightness of the rifle and easy handling. The stock and hand guards are constructed from impact-resistant polymers, balancing durability and weight reduction. The M16 was one of the first military rifles to feature lightweight aluminum and polymer parts, a major shift from the heavy wood and steel guns of early wars. This combination ensures the rifle's reliability in tough environments and ease of use, even during prolonged fights. 
After careful selection of premium quality materials, now comes the assembling of the M16 rifle. The assembling of the M16 rifle is an intricate process handled carefully. In the first phase, the upper group is built. The sub-assembly stage involves building the key components of the upper receiver group, like the barrel, handguard, gas system, and sights, for flawless accuracy and reliability, followed by the building of the lower receiver group, integrating the trigger mechanism, magazine well, and stock, it undergoes rigorous calibration for a crisp pull and safe operation. The M16 rifle uses a 5.645 mm NATO cartridge, which provides high velocity and low recoil, which is ideal for accurate shots at distances up to 550 meters. The second phase of the process begins when the two groups are then merged with precision engineering tools, installing critical functional components like the bolt carrier group and charging handle. The M16 undergoes rigorous quality control checks, including precise measurements of critical dimensions and comprehensive test firing sessions to ensure consistency in performance, durability under extreme conditions, and unwavering reliability. Before an M16 leaves the factory, it goes through an extensive testing phase. This includes firing tests to check accuracy and endurance under extreme conditions like heat or dirt exposure, making sure to meet U.S. military standards. But accuracy is only the beginning. These weapons undertake intensive durability evaluations where they're tested to surpass thresholds in simulated scenarios that match the hardest conditions on the planet. The endurance trials, where some M16s fire over 10,000 rounds, are the true tests of reliability. Engineers can identify even the smallest signs of wear and tear, transforming the rifle into a dependable, precision tool that soldiers can trust in battle. In short, this isn't just testing. It's a trial by fire that transforms a finely crafted rifle into a dependable, precision tool that soldiers can trust in the heat of battle. The M16 rifle is meticulously manufactured, cleaned, lubricated, and packaged before being shipped to military units across over 80 countries. Advanced logistics systems involving over 50 logistics partners ensure timely delivery. Supply chain management minimizes delays and maintains quality control. Soldiers undergo comprehensive training on the M16's operation, maintenance and handling, ensuring its reliability and integration into military tactics. This blend of packaging, logistics and soldier training ensures the M16's legacy remains upheld on battlefields worldwide. Remember those reliability issues we mentioned earlier? Early models suffered due to poor quality ammunition and a lack of chrome-plated chambers, causing rust and misfires in Vietnam's humid environment. The solution came in the form of the upgraded M16A1, which featured a chrome-lined barrel and chamber along with improved gunpowder. These changes drastically enhanced performance and restored a soldiers' confidence in their weapon. Beginning from the M16A1 variant to today's M16 variants, like the M16A4 and M4 carbine, are used by militaries worldwide. With advanced optics and modular designs, they remain a competitive platform even after six decades. Over 8 million units of the M16 family have been produced worldwide, making it one of the most widely used military rifles in history. While the United States military has adopted the M4 carbine as its main infantry weapon, the M16 continues to evolve. Newer variations and modifications to existing models reflect the changing battlefield landscape and the demand for increased capabilities in modern conflict. Some weapons define wars. The M16 defined an era. From Eugene Stoner's revolutionary blueprint in the 1950s to the cutting-edge variations rolling off the lines today, the M16 is more than just a rifle. It's a milestone in modern warfare and an icon of military innovation. Each component involved in the manufacturing has its tale of adaptation and perfection. This blend of innovative materials, ingenious mechanical design, and user-friendly modularity sets the M16 apart from its predecessors and has kept it at the forefront of military technology for over half a century. It's a perfect example of how bold ideas and innovative engineering can redefine what's possible in combat. From raw metals shaped by machines to the last trigger pull in the proving grounds, the M16 is a legacy forged in fire, pressure, and purpose. From molten steel and forged aluminum to final inspection under military-grade scrutiny, the process behind the M16 is nothing short of extraordinary. If you enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look at how the M16 is made, 
then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Industria. And go check out the fascinating process of aluminum manufacturing. And let us know in the comments what product we should cover next.